set the distance between this camera arm and the center column so that we can drive up parallel to the Okay. Okay. So last arm when you the pedal to hit it twice. So this is your set. One is just asking. Then as you drive it in, the problem with driving this all the way up to the trunk car is that, just like Dr. Avigila mentioned earlier, it'll crowd some of the arms and it'll lift some of the mobility. So the way to overcome that, at least most of it, is to stop about six to eight inches short of your camera. All right. And what that does is that forces you to pull this camera arm out a little bit. And what that does is it creates a little more space for these other arms to dock. Right, so if you envision this, if this, if this robot were dri driven up another 16 inches, the arm would be really cramped like this. So now this is allowing us to, to give it a little more space. And like Dr. Victor, you can now point these arms in, which still gives us the flexibility to reach cephalad in the event that you need to. Okay. So that's the trick. You only need to focus on your camera arm. So we your arms just should be up and out of the way. Set it. First two joints straight across, 90 right, degrees here, and then stop, and then stop okay. 16 inches short. It's a little bit of an art, a little bit of science, right. but stop short of it to give yourself a Right, and then that allows you to get that closer to that. Okay, yeah, okay. These arms are, have a little more freedom. So, okay. uh, I would offer, in most cases, I've seen some of the very aortic node dissection oh, yeah. with parallel docking, so there will be some limitations, but if you do it right, they will be very effective. Okay.